Scotland's the only country ever to test the entire nation on the same test, on the same day, using the same questions and the same instructions. So in fact, Scotland has cashed the IQ scores for its entire nation born in 1936. They're about 70 now. They'll be coming back to see us for many years to come. Each person will come back to see us more than once. And during that time, they will undergo detailed mental testing so we can find out how their different mental functions are doing as they grow older. We'll look at their brains in great detail using the latest scanning techniques, including magnetic resonance imaging. We'll take blood from them for various medical conditions to be checked, but also for DNA extraction so we can look at their genes in detail as well. So when one stands back and looks at it, we have this great resource that we're looking at from many different angles, from the psychological, from the medical, from the brain imaging, and from the biological. I knew I had a once in a lifetime chance to work with a unique set of data to answer a vital question, so how some brains age better than others. It's important to undertake the Disconnected Mind project now. All the elements are in place, and this is the only time it can be done we have the data from age 11 on all these IQ test scores. The people who took them are now about 70 at a time when age is going to have effects on the brain. Some people are going to be doing well, others not so well, others are even going to get dementia. There is nowhere else in the world that has these data from a young age when the people were healthy and can now be studied as they're getting old and they're going to be experiencing differences in how the brain ages. The uniqueness of the Disconnected Mind project doesn't just lie in the fact that we've got a survey of individuals who took mental tests at age 11 that no one else in the world actually has. It's also this, that situated in Edinburgh, we have a team of individuals who are world-class in neuroscience and can actually help me study the biological basis, the actual changes in the brain that underlie why some people have a successful cognitive ageing and other people undergo mental decline. So various elements are in place. A unique sample of older people, a unique team with different skills in neuroscience that just simply doesn't exist elsewhere in one place. Modern populations are changing. The proportion of older people in them is far greater. And that's brought to closer attention the fact that the changing of mental abilities is a major impact on public health. When you ask older people what their fears are about growing old, quite often at the top of that is keeping their mental functions sharp. They want to keep their thinking skills as good as they used to be. And what we have to find out is this. We need to find out why some people's brains age well and other people's brains deteriorate. We need a recipe for successful mental ageing. The way we think is the core of our being. It's what makes us us. And that's what I want to extend. I want to extend the period of life in which we're thinking as we used to, as we keep our personalities and our thinking skills as good as they were when we were young. It's the early stages of beginning to lose things like memory and reasoning and other mental functions that lead on later to dementia. So we know, for example, that people who undergo mild forms of cognitive decline are much likely later on to suffer dementia. So in the disconnected mind, we'll be looking for the elements of that recipe that lead to keeping the brain sharper for longer and keeping people's mental skills as close as possible to what they were when they were young so that they're basically living longer and dying short.